In this video, we are going to see about Framify, which is a component and template library, which offers a wide range of high quality design assets to elevate your frame up projects. The benefits of using this Framify is it's very easy to use and also it's very time saving because they have already given the pre-made components. And the customization for this component is very easy for you. And because of it's no code friendly, you can create a marvelous frame up projects. So without making a much delay, let's get into the video on analyzing this Framify. So now let's see what are the libraries they have. So coming to here, you can find the pre-made section. Uh, they have more than 495 plus sections. So these are all the sections you can find here. So on loading more, I can find a more and more sections. So these are all the pre-built section. You just have to copy and paste it in your project and can do the modifications. And also they have a premium website. Uh, it's something like a template so that you can make use of this one and use it in your projects. Uh, and coming to the pro components, these are all the framework pro components um, for the accordion, breadcrumbs, drop down menu, meha menu, tabs, toggle, everything can be found here so that these are all can be used for your projects so if we have purchased the creator plus uh, you have the options of bookmarking the items let me show you so uh, if you like this particular hero section uh, before that let me preview this so if you have like this hero section uh, you can uh, save this particular item so what are all the section you like you can just click on this bookmark so the, all the section will be saved as a bookmark and going to here, that is my account. So you can view the bookmarked items. So here, uh, these are all the bookmarked items I have chosen for creating a projects. So I have chosen the hero section, um, feature section, FAQ, service, team, about section, CTA, navbar tab section so everything has been a bookmark from the pre-made section so what are all the section you have bookmark will be stored inside this bookmark items coming to the pricing of this framify they have a two option that is created pro and created plus plus but the created plus planning is a worth for you uh, because they have a bookmark items and uh, you can uh, create and sell framework templates by using this component library even they have a hundred plus a framework started page and also they are providing the discount for each of these that is framer auth framer overrides frame form super fields so that you can able to uh, save up to 125 dollars and here they are providing it for 99 dollars uh, for a lifetime access so it's better to go with creator plus if you wish to use this discounts and also the bookmark items uh, you can go with the creator plus okay so this is the pricing plan of the framify okay uh, now uh, we are going to use all these section into our projects so before that we have to do uh, that is we need to go to this remix frame of files so here you can find the two things that is a remix framer design file and remix framer startup file so if we use this a uh, remix a uh, design file uh, we can find all the pre-made section and components uh, that is ready to use for the projects so let me show you so here you can find uh, under the canvas all the pre-made section can be found here and the starter pages all the starter pages that is the home about contact FAQ, feature, every starter pages can be found inside this design file. Let me go back again. Here you can find the remix framework starter files. So once you use this uh, remix starter file, the items which we have bookmarked already can be uh, copied and pasted uh, to our framework project. So for that, let me uh, remix the starter file. Now we can see a plain a starter file that is a framer project. Um, but inside this asset, we can find all the text styles, color styles, link styles. So here we can do the changes. We can change the font, weight, styles, colors, and everything can be changed here. Once we do the changes inside this, the what are the changes we are doing to the uh, heading one will be applied. The same follow-ups for the H2, H3, H4, 
paragraph and everything. The, what are the changes you need to do? You can do it inside this a text cell. The same follows for the color. If we change this primary color, so what are all the elements using this primary color will be changed appropriately. So we have the starter files. Now uh, let me go to this bookmarked items. So these are all the bookmarked items. Now let me go to the navbar. I'm just copying this component and going to the starter file. By clicking this desktop, I'm going to paste. So it has been pasted. And don't forget to note whether the width is in fill or not. Let me make it as fill so that the navbar has been copied. Let me copy the other section and let me paste those section inside the starter file. Let me go to the bookmark items. And next one is hero, right? So I'm copying this one and I'm pasting it. Let me make the with two fill. The next one is about. Uh, let me copy this about. And let me paste. So let me copy the all the section which is bookmarked. Now I have pasted all the section which I have already bookmarked. So within a minute, I have created the desktop version for this website along with all the necessary section. And don't forget to check it out whether all the width is in fill. So let me make all the width to be in fill. So and after that, we have to check the variant so that we get the responsive also. Now let's look at the navbar. The navbar for the tablet and the phone is not looking great. So let me change the variant so that now it's looking fine. Uh, the, everything has been aligned properly along with the responsive also. So within a few minutes, we have created a website along with the responsiveness. Now on changing the test and, and assigning the text style, uh, we just need to get into the component. And I'm just using this uh, heading and going to the style. Uh, we can choose up uh, with the pre-made styles. Uh, let me choose up with the H1 bold. If we wish, we can decrease the line. And for the paragraph, as uh, text 18 pixel regular with the center line. So something like this, uh, we can uh, do the changes. So if we wish to change the content, just go to the content and do the changes. So this is how you need to change the text for all the components. And if you want to change the color style, just go to this color styles. You can find a bunch of color style here. And just choosing on this primary, um, you can uh, change the color which you need. And for the secondary, so on changing this primary and secondary color, the color has been affected for all other uh, the elements which have used this primary and secondary colors. So let me show you in the preview, just look it out. So everything has been changed. So, okay. Uh, so this is how you need to do the uh, changes uh, for the text and also for the color styles. And also you can able to change the theme to dark and light. So for that, just go to the, the me to toggle system website here. You can uh, find uh, the bunch of a uh, toggle system. So whatever you need, uh, just make sure to copy that. I'm just copying this one. Uh, let me show you. So this is how it will be looking. So I'm just copying it and going to the project. And now inside this navbar, I'm going to paste. So the toggle system has been paste. Now uh, let me uh, publish uh, this project. So the project has been published instantly. Let me go to here. So this is how it will be looking. Let me toggle to dark mode, light mode. So it's working perfectly fine. It's looking great, right? So it's looking great. So for the website, the homepage is not really enough. We need uh, an about page, service page, contact page, something like this. And those pages also can be created with an ease by using this Framify. So for that, I'm going to the Framify website. And inside this Remix frame of files, I'm going to this Remix design file. So we have already uh, created the design file. I'm going to that one. So inside the canvas, under the starter page, we can find the about page, contact page, FAQ, which I have already said. So from the about page, so they have a predefined about page. So from here, you can uh, select the design which you uh, desire. 
I'm going to use this about page inside this layer I'm copying it I'm going to the starter page and I'm creating a new page that is for about inside this layer let me paste and let's make the height to fit so that about page also have been created and let me create the tablet version and the phone version can you see it it's automatically responsive after creating a, a tablet breakpoint and a phone breakpoint we just no need to uh, make the alignment for the tablet and also to the phone now again i'm going to the design file so from here i'm going to choose the contact and let me choose the one of the design let me choose this one uh, this one i'm going to the layers let me copy this one now i'm going to the startup file and let me create a new page uh, that is for the contact and inside this layer let me paste and let's make the high to fit content now let me create the tablet breakpoint it's already responsive and let me create the phone breakpoint it's already responsive the only thing we just need to change the variant for the uh, navbar the same follow-ups for the tablet it's very easy to create the sub pages uh, for our project also uh, now in order to uh, make the link uh, between this um, that about page and contact page which we have created i'm going to this uh, navbar and inside this about let me make the link to about and for the contact uh, let me create the link to contact and going to the home uh, now let me publish this by updating it so i'm just clicking on this about page it's taking me to the about and for the contact and it's taking me to the contact page also as i have already mentioned all the pages are in responses so that you can get a clear idea of how to create the framework project by using this framify you can find the link of this framify in the description below and also you can get a 30 percentage of a discount by using this code i hope you have really enjoyed this video and gained some of the knowledge if you want more videos on framework and web design don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you really enjoyed this video please make sure to like this and share it with your fellow designers and finally let's see you in the next video